how you felt eyes watching you. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, MacGyver. So we're trying to avoid the virus. I'm going to shave my head. What are you doing there, darling? Oh, just a few spots where our original primers rubbed off or whatever. I'm just going to give it a prime. Look, it's just the original substrate. should have some sort of primer on it. These blue and black are our any fouls and the white was our original primer, so I'm not really worried about 90% of it. I'm just getting the spots that have sort of rubbed right through or flaked off. Because it's only the bits that don't have any anything mm -hmm. on it like that. See how it's a bit yeah. yellow? Yeah. Yeah. So that will bind the any fowl we put on so it sticks, eh? That's it. Yeah, I see, I know some stuff. You know a lot of stuff. <laughs> But there isn't much to do left on the outside. We're waiting for our through holes to arrive. Until the through holes arrive, we don't really have much to, well, they're not through holes. What are they called? Skin fittings. <laughs> the skin fittings arrive to, to put back into the holes. So like this hole above Lee's head here. This is a through hole. And the, uh, the parts that go in there, so water doesn't rush into the boat. <laughs> we are waiting for them to come. We're actually waiting to see if we can get a parcel from America. If we can't, we, we can buy them here. So just haven't heard back yet. So we're in a bit of a limbo, but the priming of the bottom like Lee's doing today is the last bit of work that we can do on the outside for, until we know we're going back in the water. And it's only yeah, four days into the two week isolation period. So we've got another 10 days or so to go. So we might start a project on the inside. Thinks my feet are dirty. Afternoon, sir. What would you like done? Ah, oh, short back and sides. Thanks, darling. Short back and sides. There's not much on the top. You want to keep that? Ah, oh, yeah. Come on. Take it <laughs> easy on me. I'm gonna style it. <laughs> Got my apprentice washing it down first. <laughs> Bit of anti foul remover <laughs> spraying in there. How's your day been so far? Oh, not too bad. You know how it is hanging out at the boat yard. Are we just gonna take it all off? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Radio, Short front and sides, but just not leave the back, eh? <laughs> <laughs> That's what you want. There's party at the back, darling. Get this thing going. Do you want to press this button? Okay. <laughs> So short at the front, long at the back. Alright, here we go. Clean at the front and then BOOM! <laughs> Finally at the back.
All right, this one's up next. What would you like there, young lady? Your hair looks beautiful. I'm going to shave my head. No, no. <laughs> yes, let's shave your head. No, I'm trimming it. <laughs> Yeah. All right, so as you know, we are in the marina where it hauled out, so we're on the dry dock, which means our boat's out of the water. Um, because we're on a little island off of another island, where every time we leave and we go on the ferry, we get our temperature checked because of the coronavirus. But they're also coming around to all the boats and individually giving us a temperature check too. Hi. Hi. Yeah, they're coming. Please be alive. Close my eyes. Yeah. Follow me out. Okay. Down to the bay. Up the margin later. It's okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right, <laughs> Bell. When you are with me, let it be away. Shut the kiss away. Set my bay. All good. We're all good. Okay. Stay safe. <laughs> So we're trying to avoid the virus, getting some vitamin D, sunshine, and having a swim in the ocean, and some exercise. doing in there? Oh. Making a lot of noise. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> I'm just drilling holes in the boat. So with all this time, corona time we have, our manual bilge pump used to exit underneath the boat. So as we pump, the overflow would go under the boat, but because it didn't actually go out the side, it didn't create like a water lock, so it, it would back siphon through to the bilge. Um, it done that once and I disconnected it. And uh, I thought, well, I'll put the exit above waterline so we don't ever have that problem again. So um, that's what I'm doing. Can you show the hole? Well, I'm just getting a start on it. It's pretty hard to see in here, but I'm just getting a start there. And as soon as I see the pilot go through the other side, I'm going to get out of this little hot box <laughs> and finish off from the other side. One of your favourite places on Catalpa in that little box, isn't it? Yeah. If I get close enough, you can see all the beads of sweat on him. It's the man cave. He's clearing it out so he can just go and sit in there and have his beers. It's not much room for me mates, but anyway. <laughs> no, no, can't have mates. We're social distancing, mate. Fair enough. <laughs> oh, you felt eyes watching you. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. I thought you said that was easy. It's really hole. solid. <laughs> not worried about the hole, are you? This little bead just fell off. That's just like one tenth of it. It's got a little while to go. Keep going. What happened? Oh, my poor little bit just died. Got calvarized. Oh, there's no shops open. Halfway through drilling a hole. I'm so close, I'm just getting through the steel. It's obviously bit on the steel and tore it. I wonder if I can actually tear that off. Well, that one's cracked too. Oh, this is gonna be a tough one. I can't see me getting through with this. Oh, that's a real bummer. I'm so close. Potentially put the jigsaw on it, but I don't want to scuff the outside either. I'm also just the steel now. I've gone through on both sides. Let's see if I can drill with one bit. I'm gonna have to cut that. It's cracked. Cut that off. She's cracked. And that off. It's cracked. I thought this was supposed to be an easy job. It was. If I was like about one minute off getting through. 
steel and concrete. It's just bloody tough stuff, guys. <laughs> well, we are on a day six of our shutdown here in Malaysia. Um, it's been yeah, nearly a week. We haven't been over to the island yet. We're on a little island off the main island, Langkawi. Um, and we haven't been over there for nearly a week because uh, we stopped at the boat. So we don't know what's actually happening on the mainland as such. Lee's just drilling holes or attempting to drill holes in the boat. It didn't work. Could help her clearly didn't want another hole. <laughs> so he's just figuring out if he can actually finish that job off. Other than that, we're kind of just trying to, well, we're, Lee's making jobs. There's always plenty to do on Catalpa, so it's not really too different. The lockdown, is it? There's just a few shops shut, so he can't get his bits he needs if he breaks something. <laughs> Show us the bit. He tore off one side of it. Seems to be working so far. One side's ripped, ready to go. Oh. How far have you got to go through? Oh, it's so close. It's just I've got. Oh, did you put some glasses on? Did you feel for your eyes? Oh, only when I was grinding. We should have them on all the time. I know. That guy gets stuff in his eyes so often. It's not funny. Got Do you though? Down to one and a half blades out of three. He's given up. Just about two thirds done. So how are you going to fix this problem? Well, it's just a little bit of steel left. I think I'll be able to get the jigsaw and just knock the little bits of steel out and I think we'll have a hole in the boat. Oh, it's so hot. It's late. It's still hot. Yeah, it only starts to cool down in about an hour. <laughs> and it's 5.30. About 6, 7 o'clock, it's nice. What are you going to use, a jigsaw? but it usually comes out in one nice big core. <laughs> That's about half of it. No rust in there. That's a good sign. Good job, MacGyver. Now, here's a tip for all those people out there that have a ferro boat. If you're going to do a through hull, have a spare one of these. All right, a little bit of preventative maintenance here. The old bilge pump, new bilge pump. We got five years out of this one. It's still working, there's nothing wrong with it, but we just thought we'd put a new one in. Just one of those things you sort of want to work when you need it. So, been playing around in the bilge today. Look at our lovely bilge. Mmm, delicious. Actually also putting in a bilge alarm, which this hasn't got. So we'll set up a uh, high water alarm just so we know if we're sinking. Handy. In case there's anything wrong with the build, we'll still know what's going on. How's it going? Oh, it's hot. Yeah, you look hot. Oh. No, I love this little engine bay where you have a lot that really um, challenging access. Need to do more yoga. Probably. So, who can pick out the ones that we're putting back in Catalpa and who can pick out the ones we took out? <laughs> they look a little bit different. So, Lee went into town today. Alright, well that was shopping done. Done uh, by myself. I didn't have Sarah with me today, which is, I don't know where all the stuff is, but it took me ages. I was meant to have a 15 minute limit. And, uh, I think I probably took about probably 40 minutes, which no one said anything. I felt a bit bad. So we all had to line up this morning and uh, 10 people in the supermarket at a time. Whew. So um, 
It's one shot done. Off to and get these valves now. Whee! And he's picked up our new valves and oh, skin fittings. Not that much difference in them. Not much difference. The tougher might not sink that way now. Well, these handles are just snapped off. I thought that was normal. <laughs> I didn't know they came with handles. How was your run into town? Did you film anything today? You got me in a non filming. Did manner. you film anything today? A little bit, not much. You're gonna talk, you look really good. Do you want to talk about it? No. He's excited about these things, aren't you? These are our befores. Not all of them, huh? Missing. Yeah. Oh, there's a few. There's a few missing. These are what they look like. You can get the gist of what they look like. This is what's going in. A better. Well guys, it's uh, the day Lee's been waiting for. He went to the shop and bought all the through holes, skin fittings, I don't know what to call them, valves, whatever they are. Anyway, he's got them all and we're going to go put them in and he's going to explain everything to you guys because I don't know what's happening. <laughs> 